Hello, everybody. It's me, Mr. Charles, here at home once again during some very difficult times with sickness and health and uncertainty. But I want to encourage you to be help, be hopeful, to take it one day at a time, to stay with your families, and above all else, be smart, which I know you can be. Today, I'm going to be reading, What is the World Made Of? All about solids, liquids, and gases. What is the world made of? Have you ever seen anyone walk through a wall? Hi, I can walk through walls. How did you do that? Did you ever drink a, black, a glass of blocks? Have you ever played with a lemonade dog? I put on milk for socks. Thanks. Walls, blocks, dolls, and socks, milk and lemonade, rocks and trees, all the things are made of matter. The air we the air in the breeze that blows leaves, water flowing in the creek. Everything on earth is made of matter. I'd like to tell that not all matter is alike. Matter comes in three states. It could be solid, liquid, or gas. Walls and blocks and socks are solids. Milk and lemonade and water are liquids. The air you breathe is gas. Some solids are hard and some are soft but all solids hold their shape unless you do something to change them. A wooden block is hard. You can push it and pull it and squeeze it. It will always stay squared. If your baby brother pounds it with his toy truck, it may chip or break, but then the broken pieces will hold their shapes. Modeling clay is soft. You can roll it out flat like a pancake or squeeze it into a ball. You can cut it with a knife or scissors, but if you leave it alone, it will hold whatever shape it is in. It is a solid. What do you think? Awesome. Liquids have no shape. You pour, your, you pour a glass of milk for your little sister and the milk takes the shape of the glass. If she knocks it over, the milk spreads on the tabletop. It flows over the edge like a waterfall. It drips and spatters on the floor. Milk is not round or square. It has no shape at all. Liquids can be thick like a milkshake or thin like water. They can feel slippery like cooking oil or sticky like maple syrup. But all liquids can be poured and all liquids can take on the shape of whatever they are in. Gases have no shape either. Like air, most gases are invisible. You cannot see them. You can feel them. Put out your arms and spin. You can feel the air move against your skin. Air fills up all the space around you. Gas spreads out to fill up any container they're in, no matter how big. Ask a grown-up if, if you can borrow a bottle of perfume and ask someone to be your assistant. Go into a room and close all the doors and windows. Stand in one corner and have your assistant stand in the opposite corner. Open the bottle and wave it around gently. Can your friend smell the perfume? How long does it take before she can smell it? When you open a bottle of perfume, some of the gas in the perfume escapes. In a few minutes, the gas will spread out to every corner of the room. Or in my case, cologne. I'll put it in the freezer, she says. Water is a special type of matter that can change easily, from a liquid to a gas. 
It can also change easily from a liquid to solid and back again. When matter changes form, we say it is changing its state. A change in temperature is what usually causes matter to change its state. Whenever you make ice cubes, you are changing water from a liquid to a solid state. To make ice cubes, all you have to do is pour water into an ice cube tray and put the tray in the freezer, then wait. The cold air in the freezer cools the water. In a few hours, the liquid water gets so cold that it freezes. Freezes, it is a solid. Pop an ice cube out of the tray. How does it feel? Push it and pull it and squeeze it. It is as solid as one of your wooden blocks. If you hold it in your hand for a while though, you will feel the ice turning into water again. The warmth of your hands makes the ice melt. Liquid water begins to drip your fingers, lips begins to drip between your fingers and run up your sleeve. Hey, mine is melting. Be careful, this pot is very hot. With a grown-up's help, you can watch the water run turning from liquid to gas state. Fill a small space saucepan halfway with water. Put the saucepan on the stove and let the grown-up turn on the burner. After a while, heat from the burner will make the water hot. Look carefully and you will see small bubbles forming in the bottom of the pan. As it is heated, some of the water burn turns into bubbles of gas. The gas is called water vapor. Soon, the bubbles rise and pop. The water is boiling. As the bubbles pop, the water vapor moves up into the room. You might see whiffs of whitish steam rising above the water. The steam is concentrated water vapor. Do not try to touch the steam. It is very hot. It could burn your skin. Like all gases, water vapor gradually spreads throughout the room you're in. If the door is open, it will keep on spreading out the door. You cannot see it, but the water vapor is there all around you. The water vapor is in that room too. It is? See the little cat? I have two cats. If you want to see it again, you have to change it back into water. Fill a drinking glass with water and ice cubes. This works better if you break the cubes into small pieces. Make sure the outside of the glass is dry. Before long, you will see droplets of water forming outside of the glass. The ice makes the glass cold. The cold glass cools the water vapor and that is in the air next to it. As the water vapor cools, it turns back into liquid water again. It gathers and drops on the outside of the glass. All matter, everything on earth is either solid, liquid, or gas. Water changes its state easily as it gets warmer or colder but most things stay in one state or another. Solids stay solid, liquids stay liquid, gases stay gaseous. Our snowman is sure solid, so am I. The raccoon and the bear and the duck ask, or can we, get, can we come in? And it's a good thing they do. Can you imagine a world where your toys melt when it, go, when it gets too hot? Will the walls of your house turn into hazy gas and animals just walk in and out as they please? A place where on cold days you have to swim through the air? Wow. And where everything you'd like to drink is hard as a rock? Hard as a block, excuse me? What a crazy world it would be. Ouch. Well, here we have it. What the world is made of, all about solids, liquids, and gases. Why don't you go around the house and see how many you can identify? Take care and stay safe.